Rebirth of Shang Zhou, Angry at the Sage Nui at the Beginning Introduction Unexpectedly traversed through time to become the last emperor, unwilling to become a saint's doll, making billions of human beings puppets of the heavenly gods Emperor Shintai, who was reborn, resolutely embarked on a completely different path of becoming a deity. Hate and Yuwa, scold Tai Shang, collect the dragon clan, settle the flood and wilderness to change the destiny of the human race against the heavens, and to establish the strongest business, so that the human race can surpass the gods and humanity can surpass the heavenly way. Serious Explanation there are still two complete fantasy books under my name, Nine Heavenly Heavenly Kings, and Nine Dragon Taoist Ancestor. You can watch them by searching for the book title or clicking on the author's name. Chapter 1 Reborn Emperor Exion, Panic to the Point of One You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the seventh year of King Zhou, Spring, March 18th. Hiss. It hurts, it hurts my brain hurts. In a quaint room, a burly man suddenly hugged his head and shouted pain, followed by a huge memory suddenly flooding into his mind. The man on the bed was suddenly struck by lightning, and he was stunned like a wooden carving. The excruciating pain came and went faster, but the man's face on the bed had turned black to the bottom of the pot. What kind of situation? I have traveled through time and become Dishin. No, absolutely not, I must be dreaming. The burly man had a deep disbelief on his face and then pretended to be lying in bed without any worries. He wants to wake up quickly and continue to immerse himself in the 996 blessings. King, King, it's time to go to the morning court. At this moment, an anxious yet cautious voice suddenly rang in the man's ear, instantly disturbing his beautiful dream. Have I really traveled? Dxin suddenly opened his sad eyes and silently shed tears. However, when he first arrived in this world, he dared not be too flamboyant, and at the same time, he was recalling everything in his memory about Emperor Xion. Soon, Dxin's eyes once again shed tears of sadness who is wrong with crossing over, but unfortunately, crossing over is like this, being criticized to the point where the last emperor is powerless to refute. It can be said that Emperor Xion's entire life was also a tragic reminder, as he spent his entire life calculating and being exploited. Five days ago, the use of seven emotions and six desires to pollute Emperor Xion, three days ago, when Emperor Xion was sacrificing to the Anyuwa Temple, the two Western goods covered up the mystery and showed Emperor Xion the true face of Anyuwa. Then, as soon as this brainless melon seed became hot, he improvised a poem and pushed himself into a vast abyss. Even later on, even the entire human race in the wilderness was tricked by him. This also led to the situation during the flood and famine period, where the three realms of heaven, earth, and human coexisted, but now the integration of the earth and humanity into the heavenly Tao resulted in the heavenly Tao transcending everything else and surpassing everything else in the end. And all of this, it started with that poem. As for now. But it was because the amount of seven emotions and six desires qi that Chuan Ti played was a bit large, and after seeing the true face of Nyuwa, Dxian felt a little uneasy, causing Dishin's will to begin to weaken. But due to unknown reasons, he was possessed and taken away by his soul from the future blue star. At this moment, Dishin's face turned black and he cursed with hatred, mad, if only I had come three days earlier. I would have turned history around. But now that everything is settled, what should I do if I get swollen? At this moment, a servant approached and whispered, Your Majesty, it's time to go to court. Got it, got it, get out of here. Dxin was in a very bad mood, and under the guidance of his servants, he walked towards the imperial palace, while also thinking about remedies on the way. After all, when he wrote a poem, it was calculated by someone. If he remembers correctly, the sage Nyuwa will come to sing in the next few days. Ultimately, all of this is due to the calculations of the two Western sages. As long as they point it out themselves, with the strength of the Nyuwa sage, they can definitely calculate the truth. Well, it can still be remedied. Thinking of this, 
Dxian breathed a sigh of relief, and the melancholy that enveloped his heart disappeared with it. Soon, he has entered the imperial palace. Not long ago, Bygone walked out of the crowd with a solemn expression and said, I would like to announce to the king that three days ago, the king wrote a poem at the Anuwa temple, which caused a commotion in the world. Now, people all over the world are cursing the king for his incompetence, fearing that the sage will be angry and bring disaster to the heavens. I kindly request the king to set up the Anuwa temple again and ask for the forgiveness of the Anuwa sage. Walter. What the Exion did has nothing to do with me. Just as Emperor Exion's mind had just begun to think of this, a voice suddenly rang out in his mind, detected that the host is facing a difficult decision, choose to turn on the system. Option 1. As an emperor, consider the interests of all the people in the world, set up the Anuwa palace, and sincerely request the forgiveness of the sage Anuwa. Choice Reward. Innate Spiritual Treasure Creation Map, Cultivation for 100,000 Years Option 2 I am the Emperor of Humanity, the Lord of Humanity. I can only fight hard and cannot tolerate it. As a mere sage of the Heavenly Way, how can I make the Lord of Humanity bend down? Choice Reward Humanity's Treasure, the Sword of the Emperor of Humanity, Cultivated for 100,000 Years Sleeping Trough Dxin was stunned on the spot, could this be, the legendary system? In my past life, I read novels. What do I say, by the way, handsome people have their own heavenly sect. Huh, my cheat has come. After Dxin was stunned for a while, the haze in his heart completely disappeared, the spicy man smiled for the first time after coming here. I choose to. At the moment when Emperor Exion's words fell, a golden long sword appeared directly in the sea of consciousness. Emperor Sword Motivated by Emperor Qi, it can mobilize the power of humanity, fight against the heavenly Tao and the earthly Tao, and is a precious treasure derived from humanity. Turtle, turtle, make a fortune. At first glance, this thing looks like it's amazing. Still a derivative weapon of humanity. As for the phrases, Jean Tian and Jean D, just take a look. Emperor Exion also knows that he can't even defeat a earthly immortal now. At most, he can use the human emperor sword to attack Fei Zhong, Yu Hun, and others. Because except for the ancient three emperors, all future emperors cannot practice. Although Emperor Exion was born with the power to carry the tripod, unfortunately, Compared to the terrifying power of cultivators who move mountains and fill the sea, he is too weak to refute. At this moment, Dxin suddenly felt a powerful force pouring directly into his body. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net However, that feeling disappeared in the moment it appeared and did not attract anyone's attention. In the eyes of others, Dxin was just stunned for a moment. But at this point, Dxian was feeling the powerful power inside his body, and his heart became unusually excited. The system's appearance is indeed extraordinary. After 100,000 years of cultivation, it has not caught anyone's attention, and my current strength has even reached the level of a earthly immortal. Hush! It's so terrifying. In the primitive era, the cultivation realm of mortals was divided into qi refining, foundation building, golden pill, elemental baby, transforming spirit, and achieving earth immortality after crossing tribulations, which is also known as semi-immortality. After the earth immortals, there are heavenly immortals, golden immortals, Taiyi golden immortals, Daoyuo golden immortals, Junsheng, and Hunyuan Daoyuo golden immortals, saints. The emperor appears to be noble and even known as the lord of the vast land, but on this piece of land in the wilderness, it really doesn't have much fame. Because, if there is no human imperial aura to protect the body, even a cultivator during the foundation building period can easily press Emperor Xian to the ground and rub against him. Not to mention the vast wasteland where Tai Yi walks everywhere and Jin Xian is not as good as a dog. But now he is not afraid. If you take a sip of water and become an immortal, then make a few more choices. Will you become a saint directly? 
when the time comes, one's own strength will be strong, mad, send Shin Gong Bao to explode the chrysanthemums of those two western goods first. Hong Wang brand old YB, even if he had a system, he had to be careful. However, DXIN, who had previously been protected by the power of humanity and the imperial aura, had been calculated by both of them. Thinking of this, DXIN's eyes suddenly burst with a cold and piercing killing intent. Chapter 2 The Virgin Mary of the Human Race You also deserve it. You are listening at NovelFull.audio There's something wrong with the king. At this moment, the bygone and others in the imperial palace who were preparing to continue their recitation dared not speak recklessly now. Because there is a saying circulating in the court, don't be afraid of the king jumping, just be afraid of the king laughing. Moreover, just now Emperor Exion not only smiled, but also had a murderous aura in his eyes. This made Baigan and others tremble, they are all loyal ministers, but they are not foolish ministers. Besides, they are not one Taishir who wields a whip to beat the king. At this moment, touching the head of the king's mold is completely seeking death. So, the last morning court in three days was hastily resolved in the silent threat of Emperor Exion. King, your highnesses Yin Jiao and Yin Hong want to leave the palace and visit the suburbs. They have come to report to the king. Dxin had just returned to the study when he received a report from his servants. Just as he was about to say he would follow them, the sound of the system echoed in his mind again. Detected that the sage Yu Hua is about to come to question, the host selection is as follows. Option 1. That's a saint, it's not a big deal to be tempted once. A man can bend and stretch, and in the future, he can find a place. Choice reward. Defend against the Lingbao Xian turtle shell the day after tomorrow, the great Luo Golden Immortal is difficult to break, and cultivate for 10,000 years. Option 2. Lie down, Hao Tian, that old kid is going to use the lives of millions of people to carry out the God Sealing Cataclysm. When you pretend to be blind, you don't have the face to find fault with her and scold her. Choice Reward Open Heaven Sword Talisman, Cultivation Reward, will be given according to the degree of the host's anger towards Nuwa. The harder the attack, the greater the cost Nuwa will pay, and the higher the reward. The minimum cultivation year is 10,000 years, and the maximum is 100,000 years at this point, a flash of inspiration flashed in Dxian's mind. He remembered that during the function romance, when Nuwa came to ask for forgiveness in anger, she was blocked by the imperial aura carried by the two of them, Yin Jiao and Yin Hong, who were out. Solitary vaginal discharge, the sage Nuwa is coming. We have to deal with her. At the thought of this, Dxian surprisingly felt a little excited, I choose too. Shua. The next second, a golden talisman with a small sword carved on it appeared in Emperor Exian's Sea of Consciousness. Kai Tian Sword Talisman. Can slay everything in the world, including the supreme cause and effect. At this point, Dxian suddenly remembered that in the original work of Fengshen, it was said that the reason why Nuwa didn't slap Dxian to death was not only because he was protected by the imperial aura, but also because he was in the court song. Although I have gained the cultivation of an earth immortal, in front of Nuwa, I probably don't even consider ants. No, it's not possible, it's not yet time for the waves, we must build on them. In the eyes of Hong Huang Old Wai, although I am an emperor, in the eyes of Hong Huang Old Wai, I am not even a hare. Thinking of this, Emperor Xian muttered to himself, If you don't become a Dalai Lama, we will definitely not produce Chowga. Hmm, that's settled. Set up the Chowga city wall. Brother, how did father remember? It depends on us fighting in the suburbs. I don't know either, but it's also a good thing that my father can come. He's been very upset these days, and my mother is very worried. Outside Chowga City brother Yin Jiao and younger brother Yin Hong walked out side by side, looking at Emperor Xian standing on the city wall, with a flickering light of doubt in their eyes. Is it because my father is going to choose the next emperor? No, 
It's not right, father is now in his prime and wouldn't make a decision so early. During the flood and famine period, the emperor did not follow the rules of future emperors. Even in front of outsiders, Yin Xiao and Yin Hong directly called Emperor Xian father. At this point, Emperor Xian, standing on the city wall, suddenly opened his hands and shouted loudly, Yin Xiao and Yin Hong, let the lone king see your bravery. Yes, father. Yes, father. After hearing Emperor Xian's order, Yin Xiao and Yin Hong, although somewhat puzzled, still pulled out their big swords and started fighting under Emperor Xian's eyelids. After a moment without a single incense stick, Dishin, who was drowsy and drowsy, suddenly felt a murderous gaze that fell directly on him, in an instant, he came back to his senses. Here we go, here we go, a spicy woman is here. Thinking of this, Di Xian suddenly stood up and shouted loudly, Yin Jiao, Yin Hong, come back. After speaking, Emperor Xian leaned the human emperor sword on the ground, with his left palm against the tail of the sword and his right hand pressed against his left hand, revealing his face as if facing a great enemy. At this moment, a voice devoid of emotion but extremely indifferent suddenly echoed through the entire Chauga, D. Xian, you know the sin. In the cold voice, there is an irresistible majesty mixed in. Next second, the sky and earth suddenly became extremely dark, and the panicked Tian Wei appeared with the rolling power of destruction, enveloping the entire Chauga. It's not difficult to imagine, if this destructive power falls, the entire Chauga probably won't find half a living person. Saints cannot be humiliated. In the wilderness, this is not just empty talk. But just as that force appeared, a purple and golden aura of luxury suddenly appeared above Chauga, with a loud roar, the aura of annihilation was shattered. And the crowd inside Chauga only felt that the sky suddenly darkened for a moment, without being affected in any way, only D. Xian saw that scene just now. D. Xian, you know the sin. At this moment, that cold voice rang out again, but this time there was a noticeable increase in anger. And at this point, Emperor Xian had just regained his senses and saw himself and Chauga intact, a crooked smile. Lying trough, in the romance of the gods, it is said that in the Chauga, even the sages should not want to harm themselves. Thinking of this, Emperor Xian sneered and said, What is the sin of the lone king? At this point, a blurry figure suddenly appeared in mid-air, but emitting countless rays of light. Looking at Emperor Xian, he angrily rebuked, you have the courage to leave a poem to desecrate this saint. Do you still want to argue? At this moment, Enyuwa was so angry that her lungs were about to explode. She never imagined in her dreams that she could sense the heavenly way and create people from earth. As the mother of the human race, someone dared to desecrate her identity. How can we tolerate this? But just as she was exerting her holy power and preparing to teach Emperor Xian a lesson, she was blocked by the humanitarian force gathered by the Chauga. This makes her even more infuriated. The human race is all created by themselves, and the power of humanity also emerged because of the human race ultimately, the root of all this still lies in oneself, the sage of the heavenly way. Can it be special, now, the power of humanity is preventing us, the mother of humanity, from teaching us how to defile our own human race. If it weren't for maintaining the lofty image of the sage, Enyuwa would have wanted to curse out loud. Especially when she saw D. Xian's expression of, you come and beat me, Enyuwa was so angry that her teeth were about to break. Under the vast golden light, Nyuwa once again said coldly, Emperor Xian, are you writing a poem to desecrate the holy mother of the human race and still trying to argue? Aren't you afraid that the anger of this saint will bring disaster to millions of human races? Humph, Enyuwa, the lone king is giving you face and calling you the holy mother of the human race. I hope you don't be disrespectful. Don't think the lone king doesn't know, and you are only making people out of clay for the sake of the sage's position. Before the Lich Wars, when the human race was treated as food by the demon race, where were you? Before the three emperors, when the human race's clothing did not cover their bodies and food did not wrap around their stomachs, where were you? 
You have gained half of the fortune of the human race because of your merit in making people by kneading soil. However, in the vast land, millions of human races are treated as incense puppets by celestial beings. Any slight disrespect is like various natural disasters. Where are you? After hearing Anyuwa's words, Dxian was instantly angry. He pointed his sword at Anyuwa and cursed loudly, the holy mother of the human race. You. You too. You deserve it. Chapter 3 A Sword of Solitude, Named Opening Heaven You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Virgin Mary of the Human Race, You Also Deserve It. Emperor Xian's tongue is piercing with thunder, word for word execution chicken. In an instant, everyone in the entire Chowga was stunned, with the deafening words of Emperor Xian echoing in their minds just now. At this moment, Dxian still looked straight at Nuwa, his back erect like a javelin, when countless ancestors were buried at the mouth of demons, you were not there. When countless human races died of hunger and cold, you were not there. When the human race in the wilderness was treated as a puppet of incense and fire by the heavenly court, you were not there, he asked word by word, the lone king only wrote a poem, but you came. Enjoy half of the human race's energy and strengthen oneself. Even if the human race is treated as blood and food, died in disasters, or transformed into a puppet, you still stand tall. Just because you are a saint, a saint should stand tall and enjoy the offerings and incense in the world. Let the human race offer you the most sincere faith. But in your eyes, the struggle and death of the human race for thousands of years cannot compare to a poem by the lone king. You say it yourself, the Virgin Mary of the human race. Are you worthy? When countless ancestors were buried at the mouth of demons, you're not here. When countless human races died of hunger and cold, you're not here. When the Hongwan tribe was treated as incense puppets by the heavenly court, you're not here. Is this kind of human holy mother worthy? Not worthy. She doesn't deserve it. At this moment, the hearts of countless people in Chowga City are all roaring, they stared angrily at the figure in the air, their minds echoing with the emperor's questioning, the grievances and unwillingness of the human race, which have been passed down for millions of years, quickly turned into three words in their hearts. You. No. Match. At this point, Dxian once again pointed his sword at Nuwa and said with a murderous aura, Nuwa, water can carry boats and also capsize them. The reason why you became a saint is because of the human race. I hope you don't sacrifice your roots for the last, otherwise, the lone king will personally overthrow you from the position of a saint. The last sentence, it was Dxian who boasted so much. Because he realized that the three questions he had just asked had already stirred up everyone's emotions, and he knew that no matter how rough he was, he wouldn't die. So he continued to boast. As a blue star of the 21st century, I brag online every day. In this current situation, little K.S. look, Nuwa has been blown away by herself. But Dishin didn't know, just when he said the eight words water can carry a boat, it can also capsize a boat, boom. Ten thousand lightning bolts burst together in the nine heavens, causing the heavenly Tao to vibrate. Hong Jun, who was practicing in the purple sky palace, suddenly opened his eyes, and a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes, even though he had experienced countless tribulations. Variable. Almost at the same time as he spoke, at the same time, five saints, including Tai Shang Lao Jun, who resided in the Nine Heavens, Yuan Shi Tian Zun, who resided in Kunlun to the west, Tong Tian Jiao Zhu, who resided on Jinao Island in the East China Sea, and Shi Jiain and Xuan Ti, also opened their eyes. Eyes full of shock. This is. Sister Anyuwa's holy fruit position, how could it vibrate? The quiet and inactive Tai Shan Lao Jun froze in amazement, causing a huge vibration in his heart. What happened, almost knocking down Sister Anyuwa from her holy position? Yuan Shi Tianzuan's eyes were even more horrified, and he felt a sense of nervousness and unease in his heart. 
There are still beings in the world who can shake the position of the sage's fruit. What's going on? Lying down, it turns out to be the emperor. His words triggered the cause and effect of the heavenly way, almost causing the heavenly way to reclaim the creation merit of Sister N. Yuwa. The leader of the Tongtian sect let out a lying trough sound, as if an earthquake had occurred on Jin Ao Island, and all the immortals who intercepted the sect were startled, I thought someone hit Jin Ao Island. And at this point, the two saints of Western religion remained silent with each other, calculating the causes and consequences of the situation and feeling anxious. Senior brother, how could this emperor appear on the city wall? Shouldn't he be in the people's palace at this time? Juanti was a bit flustered, after all, they had calculated on Nu Wa about this matter. The appearance of Dxian in an inappropriate place indicates that things have deviated from their previous trajectory, and they are afraid of revealing what they have done. Even if they cover up the mystery, they cannot withstand the sage's calculation. If Nu Wa comes knocking on them, they will only be beaten. On the side, he comforted and said, Junior brother, don't panic. Let's watch it quietly. Although Dxian appeared in an inappropriate place, I'm afraid he doesn't know the truth either. Zhuan Ti frowned and said, What senior brother said is true, but after all, Dxian is still the emperor and the current lord of humanity. With just one sentence, he almost knocked down the position of Nu Wa Saint. I'm still a bit afraid. To put it bluntly, it's just Dxian's bragging ability, they're afraid. When they became saints, they boasted 40.8 words of being extremely powerful, but Emperor Xian only uttered 8 words, which shook the position of the sage. Proportionally, they can't even boast about Dishin when they tie it together. At this moment, after Nu Wa reluctantly suppressed the restlessness of the sage's position, she immediately saw Dxian's proud expression and couldn't help but feel angry. Gritting his teeth, he said, Dxian, you. Junior sister, restrain yourself. Anyway, the function Liang Jia is about to start. His emperor Xian doesn't have many years to live. Let's endure the wind and the waves for a while. Just as An Yu Wa was about to get angry, the voice of Tai Shang Lao Jun suddenly came to her ears, which instantly suppressed her anger. D Xian, you should do it yourself. Just as An Yu Wa finished speaking and was about to leave, the voice of Dxin suddenly came to her ears, Nu Wa, if you can make the decision for the human race in the wilderness and not let the human race be the puppet of Houtian, the lonely king agrees that you can continue to be our human race's holy mother, otherwise. After listening, Nu Wa looked at Dxin and said coldly, otherwise, what? You still have to cut off the cause and effect between me and the human race. Dxin, although you are the emperor, you lack self.awareness. Is it to make decisions for the human race in the wilderness and resist the rule of the heavenly court? Isn't that against the teacher? Besides, Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net function Yang Jia is about to rise, and it will end with the change of the human dynasty. At this time, dragging oneself into the chaos of the human race is not seeking death. After all, even saints are in danger of falling in the midst of calamity. So unless she's foolish, she will make decisions for the human race. As long as the human race is not destroyed, even if she becomes a puppet of the heavenly court after becoming a deity, she will still enjoy half of the human race's luck and naturally will not agree to Emperor Exion. After hearing Anyuwa's words, D. Exion's gaze gradually turned cold and he said, So, are you not agreeing to loneliness? Dxian, if you humiliate the sage like this, you will inevitably bring disaster to the human race. This saint. Nuwa was really fed up with being threatened by a small human emperor, but halfway through her words, she was interrupted again by Emperor Xian, heaven and earth are inhumane, using all things as a cud dog, sages are inhumane, using the people as cud dogs. Today, our Emperor Xian, in his capacity as the Lord of Humanity, orders that from now on, the human race should strive for self.improvement without the holy mother of the human race. The human race should not be anyone's puppet. Boom! 
As the words of Emperor Xian fell and the flood shook, the scene inside and outside Chaoga City appeared in everyone's hearts. And at this point, however, Nyu Hua sneered and said, D. Xian, you are digging your own grave. I want to know why you deprive me of my status as the Holy Mother of the Human Race. Shua. At this moment, D. Xian grabbed the human emperor sword and his eyes were shining like a scorching sun, emitting thousands of golden lights, staring straight at Nyu Hua. There is only one sword, named Open Heaven. After finishing speaking, a sword light that startled the entire world of chaos suddenly appeared in the morning song, reaching straight to the nine heavens. Chapter 4, Continue to Criticize the Emperor You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Shit! Swordsmanship surges for 90,000 miles, and a single sword reflects the cold light of the wilderness. The next moment, boom! The outer sky shakes, chaos rolls, a sword of 90,000 miles shot fiercely, instantly tearing apart the chaos outside the sky and cutting into the past and future with one sword. Then there was a loud growl, the endless sky seems to be torn apart by a pair of invisible hands, creating a huge opening. The next moment, the boundless wilderness suddenly overturned heaven and earth, with no light on the sun and moon. All the creatures on the entire continent looked up, their eyes shocked, at the sword energy that had sunk into chaos. Meanwhile, all the great powers in the wilderness are also stunned, looking at the groundbreaking sword that has not penetrated into the past and future. Emperor Xian, how could he possibly strike such a sword? Tian Weishan, Tai Shan Lao Jun looked at the sword light, and his calm and inactive state of mind immediately stirred up a huge wave. His eyes were shocked and he said. At this moment, he felt that the most precious seal of the human race in his hand, Kong Tong seal, was a bit hot. The human emperor Xian. How could he possibly wield this sword? Isn't it? Is it the Tong Tian junior brother? Only his immortal slaying sword can wield such a sharp sword. It has been heard that many people in Jiejiao held positions in the Shang dynasty. Could it be that the junior brother was dissatisfied with the matter of enfeoffment, so he chose to go against the sky. Kunlun Yushu Palace, after thinking through everything, Yuan Shi Tianzuan's face turned blue with anger, but he still suppressed the idea of finding the supreme old lord. The great apocalypse of Fengshan is approaching, and he must ensure that his disciples can survive the calamity. Oh, in terms of the power of this sword alone, it is no less powerful than my Zhu Xian sword, but this sword surprisingly appeared from Chaoga. How could this be? Jin Ao Island in the East China Sea, within the Bio Palace, Master Tong Tian looked at the terrifying sword and muttered to himself, constantly calculating the cause and effect behind it. Not only the three saints, but also the two saints of Western Buddhism and the earthly sage Empress Ho Tu, who was in the cycle of the six paths, were shocked by this sword and looked at the void in shock. At the same time, Hong Jun, who was inside the Purple Sky Palace, was awakened by a violent vibration. He pinched his fingers and calculated, and his face changed slightly, saying, How could this be? Next, Hong Jun waved his hand and a voice that only saints could hear instantly echoed throughout the world, Taishang, Yuanshir, Tong Tian, hurry to Zixiao Palace. Meanwhile, a faint and imperceptible voice directly reached the ears of the Supreme Old Lord. Quickly carry the Kong Tong seal and go to Chaoga to bring back an Yuwa. Upon hearing this, Tai Shang Lao Jun's heart trembled and he spoke, I will strictly abide by the teacher's decree. After speaking, the Supreme Old Lord hurriedly retrieved the Kong Tong seal and headed straight to Chaoga, but his heart was filled with doubts. Why does the teacher need to wear the Kong Tong seal? At the same time, in the moment when the sword plunged into the past and future, Enyuwa's face outside Chaoga City suddenly changed, and the holy light on her body suddenly became bright and uncertain. Just like a short-circuited incandescent lamp. After three breaths, Enyuwa suppressed the urge to vomit blood and looked at D. Xian with a frightened expression. She was shocked and said, D. Xian, you. The Lone King gave you an opportunity, but you didn't cherish it yourself. 
thinking about your merits of kneading earth to create people and refining stones to repair the heavens, the lone king only cut off your cause and effect with the human race, and did not depose you. From now on, in the vast land, there will only be the saint N. Yuwa, and no more human race saints. Emperor Xian stood tall and upright on the walls of Chauga City, his eyes shining like a scorching sun, and he said with unparalleled dominance, N. Yuwa, I advise you to take good care of yourself. D. Xian, you. Not long ago, she advised Emperor Xian to take good care of herself, but now she has been advised back by Emperor Xian, and Enyua's eyes are black with anger, moreover, as a human race, I not only disrespected my holy mother, but also wrote poems to desecrate myself. I came to question myself, but he also cut off the cause and effect between myself and the human race. You know, the human race's fortune is shared by Enyua alone, which is also the reason why she is stronger than other saints. The sword of Kadi Xian cut off not only cause and effect, but also cut off four-fifths of her human aura. The throw she left behind barely maintained her position as a saint at most. Thinking of this, Enyuwa couldn't resist in the end. She burst out with a big gulp of blood, instantly staining the city wall under Emperor Xian's feet red. The crimson holy blood slid down the city wall, shocking. But under the protection of the power of humanity, Chauga did not suffer any damage. On the contrary, it was because of Enyuwa's mouthful of blood that the spiritual energy inside Chauga increased more than ten times in an instant. Just as Enyuwa was so angry that her eyes turned black and her heart was filled with murderous intent, a voice full of questioning suddenly rang out from outside the sky, D. Xian, if you write a poem in the Wahuang Temple to desecrate Enyuwa Daoist friend, not only do you not know how to repent, but you also dare to cut off the cause and effect between Enyuwa Daoist friend and the human race. You are not afraid of causing a huge disaster for the human race in the wilderness. D. Xian, if you don't hurry to apologize to Enyuwa Daoist friend. The next moment, Shua. A blurry figure appeared next to Enyuwa, and the terrifying pressure instantly swept through Chauga. Then, everyone involuntarily knelt on the ground, shouting in unison, See the Supreme Sage! See the Supreme Sage! See the Supreme Sage! Voices echoed from every corner of the Chauga, even the Prime Minister Shang Rong and the seven kings of the Wenjirand Emperor Xian were no exception, the entire Chauga, only Emperor Xian stood alone. Because he is the Emperor, in the times of the flood and famine, the status of the emperor and the sage was the same. Except for N. Yuwa, who can withstand the emperor standing and bowing, even Hong Jun from Zixiao Palace cannot withstand the emperor's kneeling. Shout out! Another troublemaker! Upon seeing this scene, D. Xian raised his eyebrows and was about to fight back when the sound of the system echoed in his mind again, detected the arrival of the supreme sage, forcing the host. The host selection is as follows. Option 1. This is the leader of the People's Education Sect, UU reading www.uukangshu.net. He is the strongest saint under Hong Jun. If he can't afford to provoke him, he will admit his cowardice and slip away. Reward. 1 Hongmang Purple Chi, with a cultivation of 30,000 years. Option 2. One Nuwa is not enough, and another person is coming to teach the sect leader. Apart from sharing the fortune of the human race, what are you teaching the human race? Blame him. Reward. The treasure of humanity. The emperor's seal, with a cultivation period of 30,000 years. Turtle the reward this time is actually Hongmang Purple Chi. Who wouldn't know that Hongmang Purple Chi is the key to becoming a saint? In ancient times, the treasure that many people wanted to break their heads. But, the achievement of Hongmang Purple Chi is the sage of the heavenly way, and it has a hammer relationship with oneself. So D. Xian smiled wryly and said, I'll choose two. Ding! Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward. Emperor's Seal The Human Emperor's Seal A precious treasure derived from humanity, 
which can be used as a medium to condense the power of humanity and make the emperor speak freely. The stronger the power of humanity, the stronger the power that can be condensed, and it can suppress one party's luck, temporarily cannot suppress the luck of the human race. Hiss, looking at the jade stone in the system space, which was palm-sized and square in all directions, I suddenly took a cold breath, isn't this the ancient jade seal? Hmm. Just as Emperor Exion was making a choice, the invisible guardian spirit beast in the sky of Chauga. Suenio. Suddenly saw a surge of golden light, and his hundred Zhang true body instantly solidified a lot. As for Tai Shang and En Yuwa, they both took a cold breath together, what's going on? How did the remaining 28 years of Qi luck in the Yin and Shang dynasties suddenly turn into 35 years? Is there such a benefit to sever the cause and effect of the sage? At this moment, the emperor is panicking again. Chapter 5 If it's too high, give it a beating first. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. And you were Daoist friend, the teacher called us to go to Zixiao. The panicked Supreme Preceptor was about to dissuade An Yuwa from leaving when he suddenly saw Shang Rong standing up trembling and leaning towards Dxian's ear, in a low voice, he said, Your Majesty, Empress An Yuwa and the Holy One of the Supreme Court have all become saints together. I think you should apologize to Your Majesty, after all, when the Holy One is angry, everything will turn upside down. Unexpectedly, after hearing this, Emperor Exian's tiger eyes widened and his sword pointed at Enyuwa, shouting loudly, Apologize. Is what the Lone King said wrong? Even if you want to apologize, it must be her Enyuwa who apologizes to the Lone King. Seeing D. Exian's appearance, Enyuwa was almost furious. Just as she was about to be backlashed by the heavenly way and teach Emperor Exian a lesson, the Supreme Emperor suddenly reached out and stopped her. Looking at Dxin, he asked coldly, Dxin, although you are the emperor, you cannot disrespect the sages. You wrote a poem to desecrate and you were Daoist friend. Daoist friends came to question, but it is still Daoist friend's fault. Upon hearing the words of the emperor, Dxin's lips slightly curved, revealing an old fox-like smile. I was just thinking about how to deal with you, but I didn't expect you to come knocking on your door. Thinking of this, Dxian coldly glanced at Tai Shang and said, The Lone King originally didn't want to talk to you. Since you said so, today the Lone King will settle our accounts with you. As the leader of the human cult, what have you done to occupy the fortune of the human race? With just one sentence of, governing by inaction, you have sent billions of human races away. You really live up to the old saying. Saints never die, thieves never stop. Also, you said that the Lone King wrote a poem to desecrate and you are. Isn't this your plan? As an emperor, the Lone King has beautiful women all over the world. How could he be attracted to a clay sculpture and lose his rationality? And you are, the Lone King asked you, did you know what happened after the Lone King entered the Wa Emperor Temple? Your Highness, the Lone King also asked you, have you ever searched for the truth about the Lone King's poem? Uh, Dxin's words left the two of them speechless. What is the truth, in fact, it is not important to them. What they want is an emperor without virtue, introduction, to promote the great apocalypse of deity, to divide the merits of humanity and authentic chi, and to enhance their own strength. So, is this ridiculous truth important? It's not that they don't want to search, but it's unnecessary. Thinking of this, the Supreme Preceptor shook his head slowly and sighed, Emperor Exion, let your eloquent words be like a spring. Your blasphemy of the Holy Mother of the human race has become a fact. The human emperor has no virtue. I will go to the Huiyun cave to meet the three emperors before the meeting and establish a new emperor for the human race. Boom! After hearing Taishang's words, Everyone in Chauga felt as if something had exploded in their minds, and their minds instantly fell into a blank space. Puff. On the side, Shan Rong and the seven kings of the Wenge, who barely stood up, knelt down on the city wall again and almost begged, I begged the supreme preceptor to bypass the great king. 
The great king was only momentarily confused at that time, and I implore the sage to take a large number. I beg the supreme preceptor to bypass the great king. At that time, the great king was only momentarily confused, and I earnestly request the sage to do so in large numbers. For a while, a deafening sound came from the Chauga. Because the true emperor Exion was not foolish, and even did many things that benefited the people, he was very supported by the people of Chauga. You don't need to plead, the emperor has no virtue, and this saint and the three emperors have their own plans. But, in the face of everyone's plea, the supreme emperor never let go, determined to go to Huyim Cave. Even the nearby Nyu one nodded along. Ha ha ha. But at this moment, a deafening laughter suddenly rang in everyone's ears, and in an instant, everyone's gaze fell on the laughing Emperor Exion. Upon seeing this, Nyu Wa said coldly, D. Exion, how dare you laugh? Ha ha. Why doesn't the Lone King dare to laugh? Go to Huiyun Cave. Do you want the Lone King to accompany you? Unexpectedly, D. Exion not only did not hesitate, but also showed a wild and aloof demeanor. His gaze towards Tai Shang and Nyu Wa was filled with mockery and disdain. Your Highness, as the leader of the human cult, the Lone King asked you, if the heavenly court plans the human race, what should you do? Nyu Wa, you call yourself the Holy Mother of the Human Race, and Emperor Fushi, one of the three emperors, is also your elder brother. If the heavenly court and the sages were to plan against the human race, what would you do? Go to Huiyun Cave. Do you dare? If the third emperor knows what you have done, you can walk out of Huiyun Cave unharmed, and the lone king is at your mercy. Boom. Boom. Boom at the moment when Emperor Exion's words fell, the heavenly divine thunder nine paths seemed to be about to split open the entire wasteland. And the sensation caused by his words was even several times more terrifying than the previous sword. At this moment, Emperor Exion's words revealed the mysteries of the heavens, and the vast and desolate heavenly path suddenly became extremely twisted and chaotic, chaos beyond the heavens is like being stirred by a pair of invisible hands. Hongjuan's Zixiao Palace is like a twelve-magnitude earthquake, and the two saints of the western cult, Mu Lu, are horrified. They sit paralyzed in the Eight Treasures Merit Pool, and the six cycles transformed by Empress Hudu suddenly stop working the three emperors of Huiyun Cave opened their eyes together, Fu Shi's innate gossip appeared in his palm, and after a moment, his face became extremely ugly. Shen Nong and Xian Yuan looked at Fu Shi together and asked, Big Brother, what happened? The heavenly way and humanity have changed. In just that moment, the heavenly mechanism became extremely chaotic, and humanity seemed to be hidden within the chaos. I can't figure it out. Speaking of which, Fu Shi slowly closed his eyes, clenched his fists tightly, and said coldly, Unfortunately, my three brothers cannot leave the Huiyin cave. Wait a moment, I think Nyu Wa will come to see me. As the head of the three emperors and possessing innate gossip, how could Fushi not calculate that all of this was related to Nyu Wa, which is why his face was so ugly? Especially Tai Shang, Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net is going to waste the emperor. Thinking of this, Fushi opened his eyes again to look at Shen Nong and Xian Yuan, and said with a murderous aura, if the emperor comes, let's beat him up first. He is greedy for the luck of our human race, and we can tolerate it. But how dare he threaten to depose the emperor? Yes, big brother. Yes, big brother. Shen Nong and Xian Yuan arrived together, their voices so cold that they were terrifying. Tai Shang, Nyu Wa, hurry to Zixiao Palace. Just outside the Chaoga, Tai Shang and Nyu Wa felt the vibration of the heavenly Tao and were at a loss when suddenly the voice of Hong Jun came to their ears. The teacher summoned us, Di Xin, today is your good luck. After leaving a sentence, Tai Shang and Nyu Wa hurriedly rushed towards the sky, but their backs looked like a lost dog, very disheveled. At this moment, Di Xian's arrogant voice suddenly rang in their ears, Tai Shang, Nyu Wa, 
Gu Wang, and other three emperors of the Fire Cloud Cave have come to question, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. In a daze, people saw the backs of Tai Shang and En Yu Wu stumbling and then quickly disappearing. At this moment, Shang Rong walked up and said with a worried expression, Your Majesty, you just said that the Heavenly Court is going to deal with us. Did Your Majesty know something? Upon hearing this, Emperor Xian put away his sword and patted Shang Rong's shoulder, looking at the old minister with extremely complex eyes, just how Tian, the lone king has never taken him seriously, ha ha ha. After speaking, Di Xian laughed and left in front of the crowd, leaving behind a domineering and unparalleled figure. I don't know why, at this moment, Shang Rong, looking at Emperor Xian's domineering figure, surprisingly felt endless desolation and loneliness. Chapter 6 Emperor Xian, The Return of Great Virtue You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ha ha ha! I really made a lot of money this time. What no one knows is that at this moment, D. Xian was laughing heartily from the bottom of his heart. Not long ago, he received a reward from Angry Nuwa, with a total of 100,000 years of cultivation received, plus the 30,000 years of cultivation obtained from angry Tai Shang, now he has directly broken through to the heavenly immortal. But under the cover of his imperial aura, unless he exposes himself, no one can see that he has already achieved cultivation. Otherwise, Tai Shang and En Yuwa wouldn't have left so easily just now. Can the emperor cultivate now? This has already broken the rules they set. What's going on? Why did the king bring us here without going to the morning court? How do I know? The king's mind is constantly changing, so just wait. By the way, have you noticed that since the king angrily attacked the two saints, Tai Shang and En Yu Hua, three days ago, he has developed a terrifying and domineering aura? Yeah, you don't even know what's circulating in the Chao Gu nowadays. What about saints? They haven't even vomited blood after being scolded by the king, so the final unified conclusion is. The king is amazing. Three days later, Emperor Xian was completely familiar with his own power. The first thing he did when he went to court was to lead the officials to the outside of the imperial palace, looking up at the sky and waiting for something. As for the whispers behind him, he listened to them word for word, with a faint smile on his face. At this moment, boom. A loud noise echoed throughout the entire morning song, and all those who were still asleep were suddenly startled by the loud noise and rolled out of bed, shouting and running towards the outside. The next moment, they saw the most shocking scene in history. The sky above the Chowga was as if someone had cut a hundred jong long gap with a big sword, revealing a pitch black void like ink. I, I'm lying in bed, the sky has been broken by someone's work. Did the king offend the sage three days ago, so the sage was punished? When the sage is angry, heaven and earth will overturn. Does the sage want us, the entire people who sing in court, to be buried with the king? Seeing the huge opening, countless ordinary people in Chowga showed despair on their faces, sitting on the ground one by one like grief-stricken. As for the palace, many ministers were sweating profusely. Because of this big crack, it appeared so suddenly. Thinking of Emperor Xian's anger towards En Yuwa three days ago, everyone's hearts were filled with fear and despair in the face of the end. The next moment, with a swoop, a white light and a golden light suddenly appeared from the huge crack, falling towards the palace like lightning. Oh my god, the sage has taken action. The panicked voices echoed in every corner of the Chowga, and even the ministers in the palace turned pale as paper. At this moment, a grand yet domineering voice suddenly sounded above Chowga, the human emperor is Xian and returns with great virtue. He is not afraid of the power of saints and has a sense of humanity. He has lowered the human emperor sword and the human emperor seal. Brush. With the sound falling, the entire Chowga instantly fell into absolute silence. All the people who had been submerged in fear and panic before were stunned like wooden carvings. Emperor Xian, where did great virtue return? Emperor Sword, Emperor Seal. This this is a recognition from heaven and earth, 
is it right for the emperor to angrily confront the Sei Jian Yuwa? At this moment, everyone was confused, and as for the faint voices in the previous Chauga, such as Emperor Bibi's disrespect towards saints and the inevitable punishment from heaven, they completely disappeared at this moment. And at this point, the important officials in the imperial palace were all stunned as they looked at the emperor's sword and seal in front of Emperor Xian. Shang Rong was the first to wake up, take a step forward and say, Congratulations to the king, congratulations to the king, have been recognized by humanity, and have bestowed such a treasure. Congratulations to the king, congratulations to the king. Congratulations to the king, congratulations to the king. Congratulations to the king, congratulations to the king. For a while, many ministers in the imperial palace, including guards, knelt down together and shouted excitedly. When the sound reached the outside of the palace, it resonated with the crowd of Chauga. Countless people either knelt at the door or on the ground, shouting loudly in front of the position of the imperial palace, the sound is like thunder, shaking the nine skies. At this moment, the power of humanity within Chauga has once again become stronger, even radiating towards the surroundings. Seeing this scene, Di Xin was very satisfied, this is because he angrily angered N Yu Hua, reaching the level of super perfect, and the system opened another option. One is to reward 10,000 years of cultivation, and the other is to reward a designated vision to obtain the honor of returning to the hearts of the people. Emperor Xian did not hesitate to choose the second one, now it seems that the effect is still very good. Thinking of this, Emperor Xian's left hand was the Emperor's seal, and his right hand was the Emperor's sword. He remained calm yet not losing his domineering voice and said, Last night, the three emperors came to the dream of the lone king and bestowed upon them these two precious treasures of the human race. Don't be alarmed, continue to court. After speaking, Emperor Xian strode towards the imperial palace. Originally, Shang Rong and Bai Gan, who wanted to comfort Emperor Xian and go to the Wa Emperor Temple to offer incense and request forgiveness from Empress and Yu Hua, also secretly hid their prepared folding for the day. Knowing that the three emperors were behind them, they all breathed a sigh of relief in secret. At the same time, we are considering how to help the king regain his rightful reputation. Prior to this, when the emperor's sword and the emperor's seal fell from the sky, the two saints of western religion almost stared with envy, but when they felt the strong humanistic power of the two treasures on UU reading www.uukangshu.net, they hesitated and dared not take action. Humanistic treasure, that's the level of innate spiritual treasure. It's easy to say that the human emperor sword, but the human emperor seal has a suppressive effect on Qi. Senior brother, the national fortune of the Yin and Shang dynasties has changed. If we add another treasure that suppresses Qi and prolongs the national fortune of the Yin and Shang dynasties, how can our Western teachings prosper? Seeing two precious treasures falling into the palace, Zhuanti looked at Jane with a worried expression on his face. But, the reception at this time is even more worrying. He looked bitterly at Zhuanti and said, Junior brother, I feel like before that, we should worry about ourselves. Zhuanti was puzzled and said, Senior brother, why? Although I don't know what Emperor Exion knows, when he wrote a poem before, you were forced to do it by the divine plan, Junior brother. Now that Nuwa has been beheaded and has a causal relationship with the human race, and Emperor Xian has vomited blood in anger, she will definitely not easily give up. Upon hearing the introduction, Zhuandi's tiger body trembled, and his eyes stuttered in amazement. At this moment, boom! With a loud bang, a red embroidered ball with a terrifying power of destruction fell from the sky like a meteorite, fiercely hitting the main hall of the Western religion. With a loud roar, the magnificent Western Church Hall was smashed into ruins. The panicked leader immediately took action to protect the eight treasures Merit Pool and Lingshan. Before they could even speak, a cold voice suddenly rang in their ears, Jain, Zhuan Ti, you are so brave that you dare to plan on me. I have nothing to do with you today. While at the moment when Nyuwa's words fell, she waved her big hand, 
and the map of mountains, rivers, and states emitted a majestic aura as it rolled towards the spiritual mountain, preparing to take away the only spiritual vein of Western Buddhism. Chapter 7 Holding the Decree of the Lone King, Conquer the Four Sea Dragon Clans You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Painting of Mountains, Rivers, and Kingdoms Nyuwa, are you going to have a disagreement with my Western teachings? Seeing that Nyuwa was about to take away the only spiritual vein in the West, Jain and Zhuanti exploded on the spot. In the battle between Daozu Hongjun and Mozu Luoho, they shattered 99% of the spiritual veins in the western part of the Honghuang, leaving only the spiritual vein of Lingshan. If Nyu Hua were to take away the Lingshan, how could the West prosper in the future? If you really deceive 3,000 Buddhas, where do you want them to practice? That's why they are eager. Who knows, after hearing the questioning from the two saints, Nyu Hua said with a frosty expression, Flip your face. When you calculate this saint, you should know that today will come. While with Anyu was scolding, the mountain, river, and country map, with unparalleled divine power, enveloped the Lingshan mountain. Anyu wa, stop talking nonsense. Zhuanti was furious when he saw the situation and saw the receiver holding onto the Lingshan mountain. With a casual wave of his hand, a colorful divine light blocked the picture of mountains, rivers, and kingdoms. Meanwhile, Enyuwa had a sudden thought, and the red-sleeved ball that had previously collapsed in the western church hall suddenly appeared, fiercely hitting Zhuanti's back. Oh my! Zhuanti let out a scream and was immediately stumbled by Enyuwa, followed by a mountain, river, and country map descending from the sky, directly dragging Zhuanti inside. After one breath Zhuanti, with a blue nose and swollen face, rolled down from the void and screamed in agony, falling to the ground, after teaching Zhuanti a lesson, and Yu Hua angrily left, after all, the sage never dies and never dies. At most, he can only be severely beaten and humiliated. Killing is not enough to kill him. Zhuanti's anger has been vented, but Di Xin's side is not over yet, returning to the Hua Palace, and Yu Hua became increasingly angry as she thought about it. As a human race, Emperor Exion dared to desecrate himself as a saint, and even used his identity as an emperor to cut off the cause and effect between himself and the human race. No matter if there is a reason behind it, this bad breath is absolutely unacceptable. Thinking of this, Enyu Hua immediately urged the demon summoning team to summon the three demons of Xianyuan tomb, three demons listen to my secret edict. The fortune of the Tang dynasty is bleak, and the emperor has no virtue, so one should lose the world, soon after, the phoenix will sing on Qishan, and the western Zhou dynasty will give birth to the holy lord. This is the will of heaven. You three demons can conceal their demonic forms, enter the court to seduce the emperor, secretly assist King Wu in overthrowing Zhou, and not harm all living beings. After this is accomplished, all three demons will achieve good results. After hearing this, the three demons of Xianyuan tomb were overjoyed and said, Little demon, follow the order. Meanwhile, half a month has passed since the flood and famine, Emperor Exian, who was going to court, was completely unaware that he was still hated by An Yuwa. At this moment, he was listening to the memorials of his ministers. Over the past half month, they have finally quelled the negative impact of the Emperor's immorality and desecration of the Virgin Mary through the humanitarian recognition of Emperor Exion. At this point, Bygone walked forward with a respectful expression and said, Your Majesty, I have heard that the Grand Preceptor heard of the strange phenomenon of the court song half a month ago. I have sent a memorial to congratulate you, and at the same time, I will also explain in detail the Battle of the North Sea. Looking at the dozen or so bamboo slips recording the Beihai War in front of him, Dishin felt his head buzzing. Is master when trying to exhaust himself? Hey, this world still needs reform. With a sigh, D. Xian gestured for his servants to lift the sealed memorial in front of Baigan and said in a deep voice, Read it. Your Majesty, the Battle of the North Sea is confidential and should not be publicly announced. Before Baigan could express his opinion, Shang Rong on the side spoke up first, 
and other ministers also lowered their heads with a look of, I don't want to hear it. Upon hearing this, Emperor Xian said in a deep voice, Prince Gu has confidence in Master Wen. Rebellion by Beihai Yuan Fudong and others is not worth mentioning. If Prince Gu asks you to recite it, you will recite it. Yes, King. After listening to it, Bai Gan felt that Di Xin was right, so his heart froze and he directly opened the secret fold in front of him. With just one glance, his pupils suddenly shrunk into vertical lines, afterwards, he took a shocked look at Di Xian, his eyes filled with admiration. Sure enough, regarding the Beihai War, Grand Tutor Wen only completed it with a few strokes, accounting for at most one dot third of the confidential information. And the rest is all about telling the story of the people in Beihai, Your Majesty, Yuan Fudong and others are nothing to mention, but the people in Beihai are in dire straits. They can't eat enough and can't cover their bodies. Wei Chen saw countless bones along the way. When he asked, he unexpectedly learned that the Beihai area is either drought for months or rainstorm for months. Bai Gan's voice became a bit choked up as he spoke, and when he mentioned the tragedy of eating human flesh in the past six months, Man Chaowen and Wu were even more shocked. At the end of the secret examination, Grand Master Wen wrote, Your Majesty, it is easy to suppress rebellion, but it is difficult to gather the hearts of the people. Your Majesty, the 70.2 princes of Beihai rebelled, and their crimes should be punished. But as the Grand Tutor said, it is also of utmost importance. Yes, my lord. There is a tragedy of cannibalism in the North Sea. I can imagine that the current North Sea region can be described as hell. Your Majesty, I have heard that the natural disasters in the North Sea are constant, and people are forced to rebel. Even if I hear that the Grand Tutor can quell the rebellion, it is still a temporary solution rather than a fundamental solution. Upon hearing the shocking description of the secret compromise, all the ministers of the Shang dynasty couldn't sit still, even flattering officials like Fei Zhong and Yu Han had an incredulous expression in their eyes. All right. Just as the ministers were expressing their opinions, Emperor Xian's voice suddenly sounded, and the imperial palace fell into a moment of silence. All the ministers' eyes fell on Emperor Xian. Just as Di Xin was about to speak, the familiar sound of the system echoed in his mind, detected the source of the North Sea conflict, which was caused by natural disasters and human disasters. The host selection is as follows. Option 1. The will of heaven is irreversible. Yu Yu read book www.yuyukangshu.net Surrender to the Heavenly Court, plead with the Haotian Jade Emperor for great mercy, and let the winds and rain be smooth throughout the vast land. Choice Reward Innate Spirit Treasure Sacrifice to the Heavenly Platform, with a cultivation period of 20,000 years. Option 2 Haotian's child is not a good person, only taking benefits without doing anything. He will be ordered by the imperial decree to subdue the dragon king of the four seas. Choice reward. Innate spirit treasure driving mountain whip, with a cultivation of 20,000 years. What? Is it possible to make a choice? The sudden choice stunned Di Xin, and then he made the choice without hesitation. Choose two. With a swoop, after 20,000 years of cultivation, Di Xian did not feel any signs of breakthrough, and he was attracted by the golden whip in the system space. The handle of the whip is engraved with the words Drive the Mountain. Next, under the gaze of everyone, Emperor Xian began to carve the imperial edict with his own hands. In just a few words, his hands were tingling. It seems that we need to get the paper out earlier, carving bamboo slips is too troublesome. Shaking his slightly swollen hand, Di Xian picked up the imperial seal and printed it on the bamboo slip. With a flash of gold, a powerful force of humanity surged towards the imperial decree. Of course, only Emperor Xian can see all of this, and others can only see a golden light. After finishing all of this, Di Xian's expression straightened and he loudly said, Huang Feihu. I am here. The handsome yet domineering Huang Feihu walked out, wondering why Emperor Xian suddenly summoned him. 
Next second, the voice of Emperor Zinaha, who was dominating the world, suddenly exploded in the imperial palace, Gu Ming, hold the Gu Edict and go to the East China Sea to subdue the Dragon King of the Four Seas. Gu Yun, the Dragon Clan, can share the fortune of the human clan. If the Dragon Clan knows no good or bad, you can wield the Dugu Emperor's sword to slay it. Chapter 8 Why did the Heavenly Court shake again? You are listening at NovelFull.audio If the Dragon Clan knows no good or bad, you can wield the Lonely Emperor sword to slay it. Emperor Xian's tongue burst into thunder, his voice echoing in the human emperor's palace like a divine scolding, unable to calm down for a long time. Thunder has arrived, the important officials of the Shang dynasty were completely thunderstruck. At this moment, everyone has a thought in their hearts, conquer the Four Seas Dragon Clan. Has the king gone crazy, or has his confidence exploded because he caused Enyuwa to vomit blood before? Who doesn't know that the Dragon Clan is attached to the Heavenly Court? However, on the other hand, if we conquer the Four Seas Dragon Clan, the vast land will not be blessed with good weather every year. People eat well, dress warmly, and rebel when they have nothing to do. Shang Rong and Bai Gan, who had figured it out, knew that there was a risk of offending the heavenly court in this matter, but still chose to remain silent, what Emperor Xian said on the walls of Chaoga City before has already made them vaguely aware. Obey me. It was not until then that Huang Feihu woke up from shock and was ordered to take orders. Even with the imperial edict and sword, Huang Feihu still doesn't have much confidence. Although he has some cultivation, he clearly doesn't look good enough against the Four Seas Dragon Clan. At this moment, Shang Rong came forward and announced, Your Majesty, although the sword of the Emperor is strong, the Dragon Clan of the Four Seas is not weak either. If the time comes, don't worry, last night Emperor Xianyuan bestowed a heavy treasure, which should be helpful in subduing the Four Seas Dragon Clan. Dxin reached out to interrupt Shang Rong's words, and then personally handed over the mountain whip to Huang Feihu. He has decided, if there's anything you can't handle in the future, just push it towards the Third Emperor. Anyway, no one knows. Can the Third Emperor still come out of the Fire Cloud Cave and cause trouble for himself? However, when Huang Feihu saw the word, mountain driving, on the whip, he suddenly widened his eyes and looked puzzled, saying, this. Is this the legendary mountain driving whip? Huang Feihu has been practicing with Wen Zhong since childhood, and Wen Zhong is also a disciple of Jiejiao. He knows many ancient secrets, so he naturally knows the legend of the mountain whip. Next second, Shang Rong, Bai Gan and others also walked up excitedly, looking at Huang Feihu's mountain whip with a shocked expression. This is what the rumored Yellow Emperor has, the powerful, mountain-driving whip, that breaks through the mountains and is incredibly powerful. According to ancient texts, this treasure has extraordinary power. Even ordinary people can effortlessly drive away the mountains with it, while there are countless mountains in the wasteland. If King Wuching holds this whip, even the Golden Immortal can fight in one battle. Turtle, turtle, is this thing really that powerful? After the system gave it away, Di Xin had not yet carefully read the introduction, so he handed it over to Huang Feihu. Now, as soon as they heard Shang Rong say so, he was instantly stunned. At this point, Huang Feihu knelt down on one knee with a thud and exclaimed excitedly, Don't worry, Your Majesty. I will definitely live up to Your Majesty's trust. Before Emperor Xian could even speak, Bai Gan spoke again and said, Your Majesty, you can issue an order to Li Jing at Chintang Pass in advance. Li Jing is a disciple of the true man Dui in the West Kunlun Mountains and has a friendship with the Dragon King Su in the East Sea. You can ask him to notify the Dragon King in advance. Li Jing Dxian thought for a moment and calculated the time. At this moment, Neza was still pregnant. Before Neza killed the third prince of the Dragon King, the relationship between Li Jing and the Dragon King of the East Sea was indeed good. Otherwise, Chen Tang Pass would have been in good weather every year. Thinking of this, Di Xian spoke up and said, Accurate. 
Originally, Emperor Xian wanted to go on this matter himself, but after thinking about it, he gave up, if one leaves Chauga without a massive human aura to protect oneself, it would be a tragedy if someone were to play with Ian and drop lightning, killing oneself in one fell swoop. In the original work of Fengshen, Enyu Hua is very cautious. Three days later, Huang Feihu rode a colorful divine ox to the outside of Chinteng Pass. This time he did not lead a family army because he was dealing with the Four Seas Dragon King, and ordinary soldiers had no effect. As soon as Huang Feihu arrived outside the Chinteng Pass, Li Jing, who had a thin face but was energetic, welcomed him. He clenched his fists and said, Li Jing from Chinteng Pass, I have seen King Wucheng. Without further ado, I believe you already understand the purpose of my visit. What did the East Sea Dragon King say? Huang Feihu didn't say much to him, he has always been so straightforward. After hearing this, Li Jing frowned slightly and said with a hint of hesitation, King Wuchen, I have already conveyed the meaning of the Great King to the Dragon King through a secret method the day before yesterday, but. What does the King mean? Little did Huang Feihu know that upon hearing these words, he became angry and pointed at Li Jing's nose, cursing loudly, I advise you to straighten out your position in the future. You are a great merchant first, and then you are a disciple of preaching. After speaking, Huang Feihu drives the colorful divine cow towards the coast of the East China Sea, after a moment, a earth-shattering sound echoed through the entire Chintang Pass and spread throughout the entire flood plain, by the edict of the emperor. This lonely king feels that there are frequent droughts and floods in the wasteland. He specially recruited the Anlong tribe as the god of water in the wasteland, in order to ensure smooth weather in the wasteland and enjoy the fortune of the human race, and to be worshipped with the incense of the human race. The lone king gave you three days to consider. If not, he swore by his life. Within ten years, the four seas will be pacified, and the dragon clan in the wilderness will be annihilated. Under heaven, there is nothing but imperial territory, leading the land by the shore, none other than imperial officials. The dragon clan, don't mistake yourself. Boom. Boom. Boom with the words of King Wu Qing falling, the humanity of the desolate continent felt a sense of endless pressure as it descended towards the four seas to suppress it. Next, three realms vibrate, six paths are uneven. The already chaotic heavenly way has completely turned into a mess at this moment, even Hong Jun, who has already merged into the heavenly way, is shrouded in a mist before his eyes, I can't see the sky clearly, I can't see the direction of the future clearly. After calculating for a long time, Hong Jun took a deep breath and said, what kind of variable is causing the power of humanity to revive? Pangu, is it your last resort? Speaking of this, a flash of killing intent suddenly flashed in Hong Jun's eyes, but then he returned to his previous calm state. Meanwhile, the heavenly court also experienced a violent vibration, and Hao Tian, who was dreaming of controlling the flood and the underworld, suddenly woke up. Next, a deafening voice sounded in his ear, like a great road. Under the sky, there is no royal land, on the shore of the land, there is no royal minister. Boom! As these sixteen words were spoken, the heavenly court shook once again, and Hao Tian faintly heard a click sound, as if something had cracked open. Carefully perceive, he found that there seemed to be an invisible gap between the heavenly court and the wilderness continent. If he dared to easily intervene in the affairs of the wilderness, he would be devoured by that gap. At this point, the queen mother walked over quickly with a furrowed brow and said, Senior brother, what happened? Why did the heavenly court shake again? The queen mother remembers clearly, last time the heavenly court shook, it was the emperor of the mortal world who wrote a poem to desecrate Empress N. Yuwa. So what happened this time? Has someone desecrated the saint again? Is the saint so lacking in dignity now? The panicked jade emperor had no time to talk to the queen mother, walking back and forth like a headless fly, with a final thrust of her heart, she pushed aside the queen mother, who wanted to break the clay pot and ask the truth, and quickly rushed towards the sky, you stay in the heavenly court, I'll go find the master. Chapter 9 
The Shock of the Dragon King of the East Sea You are listening at NovelFull.audio Just as Hao Tian went to search for Hong Jun outside the sky, the great sages of the Hong Wong continent were once again alarmed. However, they are all saints of the Heavenly Way. Although the Heavenly Way is currently chaotic, they also know that this is a way of operating the Heavenly Way, and they, who are under the Heavenly Way, naturally cannot intervene. Unlike Hao Tian who was so panicked that he was at a loss, in just a short moment, many saints suppressed their shock and ignored it. Even N Yu Hua, who was targeting DXIN, only chose to shut down after a moment's hesitation. Only the three emperors of Huiyun Cave were thrilled beyond comparison, Fushi took a cold breath and said, Hiss. If the heavenly way moves again, then humanity moves again. This is not easy for future generations. Shen Nong lightly stroked his beard with a smile and said, Indeed, this Emperor Xian has the courage of our ancient times. It's worth it for our three brothers to carry the blame on him. I have great confidence in this young man. Xian Yuan laughed heartily and said, Unfortunately, we three brothers cannot leave the Huiyun cave. The power of humanity has just recovered, and a single imperial seal is not enough to suppress the luck of the human race. Since we cannot appear to help him, let's do our best to suppress the luck of the human race. At the end, Xian Yuan's voice had already added a hint of killing intent. The power of humanity has finally revived, but the human race has begun to disintegrate, and under the condition of unstable qi, the imperial seal can only hold the qi of the core part of the Yin Shang dynasty. The Yin business fortune shared by the 800 vassal states has always been a major disaster. The three emperors saw it very clearly, but, they cannot leave the Huiyun cave, even if it is divine consciousness. Once they have any changes, the humanitarian luck may even scatter, and it will be more than worth the loss. After hearing Xuan Yuan's words, Fuxi and Shennong looked at each other helplessly and nodded together, saying, what third brother said is true. I don't know how long it has been, the murmur of Fuxi echoed in the Huiyun cave, when N Yu Hua comes, I will ask him to go to the Supreme Court to retrieve the Kong Tong seal. If the Kong Tong seal and the Emperor's seal gather together to suppress Qi Yun, then the human race will truly have no worries. But neither Shen Nong nor Xian Yuan spoke up, they understand that, previously, N Yu Hua went to Chaoga to question the Emperor, and then went to Zixiao Palace and Western Cult, but did not come to Huiyun Cave to see her brother, it's even more impossible to come now. She has a sibling relationship with Fushi, but it is only limited to Fushi and has nothing to do with the human race. Meanwhile, the Four Seas Dragon Clan suddenly suffered a disaster. Huang Feihu issued an imperial edict, triggering a resurgence of humanitarian luck in the desolate mainland, and lowering the towering divine power to the Four Seas. In the midst of the Four Seas, all the dragon races felt a terrifying pressure that was no less terrifying than that of a saint. Especially the Four Seas Dragon Kings gathered in the East China Sea, at the moment when Huang Feihu's call ended, his feet softened and he collapsed to the ground. Big Brother, how could this imperial edict have such terrifying power? Just reading it out gives us a feeling of facing the ancestral dragon, said Ao Run, the Dragon King of the West Sea, in shock. Yes, Big Brother. I heard that not long ago, the sage of Nu Hua went to court to question the emperor, but he cut off the cause and effect with his sword and almost knocked the sage of Nu Hua down from the throne. It seems that this is not a rumor, said the dragon king of Beihai, Ao Shun shuddering. Big brother, we belong to the heavenly court. For many years, they have treated us not only as slaves, but also as food. This emperor dares to confront the sages. If we submit to him, it may also be an opportunity for us to rise again, said Ao Qin, the South Sea Dragon King. At this point, the gaze of the three great dragon kings fell on the East China Sea Dragon King Ao Guang, but at this moment, Ao Guang's eyebrows furrowed, obviously he dared not gamble with the Four Seas Dragon Clan. After a while, Ao Guang frowned and said, This time I called for three wise brothers to come here for the Emperor's recruitment, but I didn't expect him to be so domineering. However, my dragon clan is not a vegetarian either. 
The three wise brothers are waiting here for a moment. I want to meet this emperor and see his confidence. I want to use a decree to completely unify the world and make my dragon clan work hard for him. After speaking, Ao Guang rushed straight towards Chintang Pass, but the other three dragon kings wanted to stop him, but it was too late. Meanwhile, Huang Feihu, who had just read out the imperial edict, suddenly saw the sea in front of him tumbling violently, waves continuously hitting the coast, emitting deafening thunder. But just as those waves were about to hit Huang Feihu, the originally turbulent sea suddenly calmed down. Immediately after, Ao Guang, the dragon king of the East China Sea, appeared expressionless on the sea surface, he spoke up and said, the martial arts king of the human race truly lives up to his reputation. Although Ao Guang appears as stable as a dog on the surface, he is actually flustered in his heart. Just now, he was controlling the waves and trying to give Huang Feihu a boost. Almost suffered a backlash from the power of humanity. Even he felt a powerful threat from Huang Feihu's hands. Thinking of this, Ao Guang's gaze swept and when he saw the golden mountain whip, his pupils suddenly shrunk into a vertical line, and his cold sweat instantly soaked his back. The mountain driving whip is actually the mountain driving whip. Fortunately, I didn't continue to fight before, otherwise I wouldn't be a match for Huang Feihu, who holds the mountain driving whip and has the power of humanity to protect his body. Ao Guang suppressed his shock and showed a hint of respect in his expression. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net at this time, Ao Guang had just stepped into the Golden Immortal Realm, and the road ahead was bleak because Hao Tian did not allow the Dragon Clan to leave Dalao again. Even the Golden Immortal Realm is only allowed to be owned by the Four Seas Dragon King, and the highest can only be in the early stage of the Golden Immortal. Once discovered and entered the middle stage of the Golden Immortal, one must be sent to the Immortal Slaying Platform. Because this is beneficial for heavenly rule. But it also makes the visible experts of the Dragon Clan extremely rare. Noticing the change in Ao Guang's mentality, Huang Feihu gave a cold smile, but also slightly restrained his arrogance. The Dragon King is polite. I heard that the East Sea Dragon King is the leader of the Four Seas Dragon Kings. When I saw him today, he also lived up to his reputation. Huang Feihu put away his mountain whip and clasped his fists, saying. I don't know why the human race emperor recruited our dragon clan. Isn't it always a matter of the heavenly court to allocate rainwater just for the purpose of creating clouds and providing rain for the vast continent? Ao Guang also clasped his fists and saluted, while expressing his doubts in his heart. The dragon king doesn't need to say these grandiose words. We all know that this is a matter of the heavenly court. However, in the flood and wasteland, there is a great flood in the south and a great drought in the north, but the heavenly court turns a blind eye and instead pushes the blame onto the great king, saying that he has no virtue. Since that's the case, what's the use of my flood and wasteland asking him for the heavenly court? Huang Feihu did not conceal anything, leaving the dragon king speechless. Ultimately, the old dragon king clenched his fists again and said, King Wuching of the human race, this matter is of great importance and concerns the life and death of the dragon race. The old dragon needs to meet with the human race emperor before making a decision. Of course you can. Huang Feihu spoke and took out the imperial edict. The dragon king can hold the edict to enter the court song and directly enter the palace of the great king. Otherwise, it will be a waste of time to report layer by layer. After hearing this, the Dragon King picked up the Imperial Edict and rushed towards Chowga without saying a word. Chapter 10 Conquering the Dragon Clan, One Conquering the Wilderness You are listening at NovelFull.audio Detected Dong Hai Dragon King entering Chowga, the host selection is as follows. Option 1 the Dragon King surrenders to the Heavenly Court and controls the Four Seas. In the Wasteland, the human race also relies on the Dragon Clan to donate rainwater. If they can't afford to provoke them, they will admit it and share half of the human clan's energy with the Dragon Clan in order to have a smooth and prosperous mainland. Choice Reward 
Cultivation for 30,000 years. Option 2. Give a sweet date with a hammer, make the dragon clan submit to humanity, and return all the seas to the wilderness. Option Reward. Cultivate for 30,000 years. Hush. That old dragon is here. As soon as the morning court ended, Emperor Xian received a system prompt, but before he could make a choice, a powerful and unparalleled voice suddenly echoed outside the human palace, East Sea Dragon King Ao Guang, please meet the human emperor. When this sound sounded, the huge Chaoga was instantly startled, and everyone looked in the direction of the sound. The Dragon King of the East Sea. What did he come to Chaoga to find the king for? I don't know, but I don't think I'm here to cause trouble, after all, even the sages have been scolded and spit blood by the king. You didn't hear it just now, it said, please see me, my goodness. The dragon king of the East Sea actually requested to see the king. The people in Chauga city are discussing and discussing, and at the same time, many people are rushing towards the position of the people's palace, wanting to see what the dragon looks like. And the ministers who were just about to leave the court looked at each other, surprised that the dragon king of the East Sea had come knocking on them. At this point, Emperor Xian raised the corner of his mouth and loudly said, I invite the dragon king of the East China Sea. Taking advantage of this brief time, Dishin also chose the second option. He was just a little dissatisfied. Why is there only a cultivation reward this time, but no item reward? And at this point, the dragon king of the East Sea, holding the imperial edict, suddenly lifted his heart to his throat as he stepped into the palace. In the dark, it felt a pair of invisible eyes staring at itself in the sky above Chauga. If it had a little killing intent in its heart, it would be instantly erased by the owner of those eyes. Meanwhile, even as a dragon tribe, in the human base and the human palace where the human emperor resides, it still has a feeling of carrying the mountains forward. The strength and intensity of humanity here are so strong that even saints would be suppressed here. No wonder Enyuwa didn't dare to sing in court at that time. I was careless. Thinking to himself, Ao Guang's back had already been soaked in cold sweat. Soon, under the guidance of his servants, the Dragon King arrived at the Imperial Palace and at first glance saw Emperor Xian, who was protected by a strong and almost condensed Imperial aura. Immediately afterwards, it was extremely shocked to find that with its cultivation level as a golden immortal, it could not see the appearance of Emperor Xian clearly, only the constantly rolling imperial aura. And the strength of this force is even stronger, richer, and more terrifying than the heavenly Tao around the Jade Emperor Haokian, after all, there were six saints of the heavenly way and one spokesperson for the heavenly way in the Honghuang era, and the power of the heavenly way was evenly distributed, and in the wilderness, there is only one emperor among the human race. If you want to surrender to the human race, it's not impossible Gudu. Thinking of this, Ao Guang was suddenly startled by his own thoughts and swallowed a mouthful of water. The East Sea Dragon King is truly the leader of the Four Seas Dragon Clan. Upon seeing him today, he truly possesses an extraordinary aura. As if sensing the thoughts in the Dragon King's heart, Dxin spoke up and broke the eerie atmosphere in the Imperial Palace. However, Emperor Xian also knew that even though the Dragon Clan, as the former ruler of the wilderness, had declined, the pride in their hearts had never diminished. Otherwise, how could they surrender to the Heavenly Court and come to Chauga as soon as possible instead of going to the Heavenly Court to find Haotian? Perhaps this is why the system only offers cultivation rewards. Previously, Huang Feihu gave the Dragon Tribe a hammer, but now it's his turn to give the Dragon Tribe a sweet jujube to taste. Beat a hammer and give a date, this is the essence of imperial talent for 5,000 years in the future. The voice of Emperor Xian's domineering yet respectful voice also greatly benefited the old Dragon King, and his face was even more joyful. The human emperor's praise is absurd, an old dragon has come straight to the point. I heard that the human emperor wants our dragon clan to surrender, but I don't know. Surrender. Before the dragon king could finish speaking, Emperor Xian suddenly stood up and his momentum suddenly changed, 
what the Lone King said about bringing peace is not to make your dragon clan surrender to the human clan, but to make the dragon clan return to humanity and the four seas return to the wasteland. At that time, you, like the people of the great Shang dynasty, will all be lone people. However, I will not enslave you like Haokian does. As long as the dragon clan protects me in the wilderness and the human clan is in good weather, I can order the human clan to build a dragon king temple to worship you. At the same time, your dragon clan can also share the fortune of our human clan. Lonely Zhaoan is not aimed at the dragon clan, but at the heavenly court Haokian. Your dragon clan seems to submit to the human clan, but in reality, it is an alliance with us. Dragon King, what do you think? As soon as these words are spoken, the East Sea Dragon King was momentarily stunned, constantly recalling Emperor Xian's words in his mind. Named Xiaowen, it's actually an alliance. You can enjoy the fragrance of the human world and also share the fortune of the human race. This isn't this a big deal of pie falling from the sky. Thinking of this, the Dragon King looked at Emperor Xian with disbelief on his face, raised the imperial edict in his hand, and stuttered, But Emperor, you. The Lone King issued an edict not to enslave the Dragon Clan, but to allow you to integrate into the humanitarian needs of the Flood and ensure smooth weather. Is this difficult for your Dragon Clan? Emperor Xian frowned and looked at Ao Guang, thinking to himself that his edict was written so clearly. Can the Tang Tang Dragon King still understand? No difficulty, no difficulty. Xingyin Buyu is a natural talent of the Dragon Clan. It is our responsibility to ensure the smooth weather of the human clan during the flood season. Please rest assured that in the future, with our Dragon Clan in the flood season, there will be no droughts or floods. Ao Guang's excited voice trembled slightly. As for the heavenly court. Go to the heavenly court of his sister. I won't be a good dragon and will serve you as slaves and ingredients. Emperor Xian smiled and said, Since that's the case, are you willing to integrate into humanity and form an alliance with our human race? I, the dragon clan, am willing. Boom. At the moment when the words of the Dragon King in the East China Sea fell, the flood shook again, the human aura that was originally hovering over the desolate continent suddenly surged into the four seas and poured into the bodies of each dragon tribe. Almost at the same time, countless dragon clans have achieved breakthroughs in cultivation. Even during the initial calamity of the dragon and phoenix, the endless consequences of the dragon clan's killing calamity that have been entangled to this day were instantly dispersed by more than half. And the luck of the dragon clan has skyrocketed by a large margin. As for the Dong Hai Dragon King, who is in Chaoga, he does not know everything that has happened to the Four Seas Dragon Clan, because at that moment, it directly broke through to the mid-stage of the Golden Immortal but it forcefully suppressed the power fluctuations during the breakthrough. Excitedly bowing to Emperor Xian, he said, From now on, the Four Seas Dragon Clan is willing to obey the Emperor's orders. After hearing this, Emperor Xian waved his hand and said in a domineering tone, In the future, the Lone King will not interfere with matters related to the rise of clouds and rain. You can send a Dragon Clan to the court as an official, and Prime Minister Shang Rong will select one person to establish the De Shang Feng Shui Si to coordinate the management of floods and storms. Another imperial edict from the Lonely King. Build the Four Seas Dragon King Temple in the Song of Chaos. The selection of the De Dragon King for the Dragon King Temple built in various parts of the Great Shang Dynasty will be jointly discussed and selected by the Four Seas Dragon King and the Wind and Rain Bureau.